Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. It's actually beautiful here today. Um, we're going to have some showers later, but it's actually going to be up in the 80s today, which is amazing because the other day it was snowing, and the last few days it's been really cold and windy. But today it's going to be hot. So I'm going to actually try to get out and enjoy some more of this day. So anyway, let me share with you guys what I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It's not a huge, huge haul, but um, while I was there, I grabbed a pack of the Scott toilet paper. Um, I know this isn't the best deal, but you know what? My grocery store still does not have a lot of toilet paper or anything. So I figured I would just grab these while I was there. I just picked up a pack. This isn't bad toilet paper. You don't get a ton, but, you know... They get four rolls and uh, nothing else special, I guess. It says it's preferred over Angel Soft. I don't know. I don't think I've ever used Angel Soft. But anywho, toilet paper. And then I grabbed another bag of my garbage bags. I've been going through a lot of these. I've been trying to get this craft room straightened up again and get rid of a lot of stuff that's, you know, just no good anymore or that I'm not using and, you know... Just stuff I've accumulated I really didn't need. So anyway, I grabbed another pack of these. These are the 10 bags of the 13-gallon vanilla-scented uh, garbage bags. And you guys all know I love them. I grab one every time I'm there. And then I picked up another pack of these because I was out of these 13-gallon. Uh, 13, 13 gallon. Wow, that would be big bags. Gallon-sized storage bags. You get 13. And the zipper kind. And these are fine. Um, I've been using these while I've been in here and haven't been going out to the regular stores too much. And then, of course, while I was there, they had these. I think these are wonderful. Um, they're, they're called the Colombian... Col Columbia. Mina. I can't speak. Anyway, that's what they are. And um, they're individually wrapped. You get three of the um, wafers in a pack, which is wonderful because I like these. But, you know, once you open these up, even if you put them in a plastic bag, they just get, you know, soft and funky after a couple of days, and they're just not that good. So I thought this was wonderful. I wish I would have picked up more. Um, I had a ton of these there, but I only got one pack. And you get 20 packs in there, and it has three cookies in each one. So I like those a lot. And then I picked up a couple graduation cards. I thought this one was really cute. And I thought this one was really nice. Um, they're very pretty. And they come with the envelope all sealed in plastic. And um, I have two grads in our family right now that are, you know, very disappointed and have not been able to, you know, finish out the school year except online. And, you know, the graduations and things are all up in the air. Prom went nowhere and you know they have also had a senior trip to Disney planned so they've kind of you know been robbed of all this stuff thanks to this lovely virus but hopefully they're trying to plan something for the graduates soon well in July I'm thinking is what they're trying to do now but we'll see how things go it's just very sad that they had to miss out on so much stuff in their last year of high school um, anyway I grabbed another one of these hydrangeas. Every time I go, I swear they have like one thing for me. I wanted to grab a bunch more of these because I used a lot of these in um, some DIYs that I just did recently. And this was the only bunch, of course. I dug through all of them. They have three different sections there that had flowers. And this was the only hydrangea. Well, the only pink one. They did have them in other colors that I didn't need. And then these I got, I don't know if you guys have seen these yet at your Dollar Trees. I have not. It's the first time I found them there. And these are the square wreaths, wreath forms, rather. I picked up four of these. These are, um, I don't know if it says on here. It just says wreath form. Does it have a size? Of course not. Why would it? Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, they're probably about 14 inches, I'm guessing. That's what it looks about. Yeah, I would say 14-inch square. Um, I thought this would be fun to do something with it. Even if I don't go for summer, I'm thinking holidays and things. You could make something really cute, like gift thing, you know, make it look like a gift box or something for the holidays to hang up. 
we do something with. But we're going to figure out something with those. So anyway, I grabbed them because I figured they're not going to be there long. And like I said, it's the first time I've seen them. These two, this is the first time I've seen these, and I grabbed four of these two. Um, these are the little buckets. And I really like these because there's nothing on them. They have them all wrapped nicely there. You know, they're just blank. The other ones that I had, you know, had the sayings on there. But they came right off, you know, if it's just printed on with the black. I just used some acetone and it it took the words right off. But I thought this was really nice and it has this nice little handle that you can hang it. So yeah, I really like these a lot. We're going to do something with those. Don't know yet. But I need to get something going so I have some flowers outside this year. I just have not even gotten to that yet. And I picked up a couple passwords. Did I pick up the other ones? This Oh, they're there. Of a, um, just the little clay pots. You get two in here. Um, these don't have any sizes either. They're making my life difficult. But anyway, I picked up two of this size here and two of these smaller ones. And I guess these bigger ones are... I know a lot of people always ask me if I don't tell you what size they are. This one's three and a half inches high, and it's about three and a quarter opening on the top and then these are you get three of these and these are like two and a quarter and about a two and a quarter opening on those so I've seen a lot of key things I love I haven't painted flower pots in a long time the way I used to paint them I had a whole set that I did that were done in all different colored really big polka dots and they look so cute when they were sitting outside on my patio um, so I want to do something else cute this year. These are a little small for that, but we'll find something fun to do. Oh, I did grab these. Um, I needed some new mats for my sink because mine are just getting nasty. I mean, you can't just can't get them clean anymore. But I like the clear ones, and I haven't tried these in my sink yet. But I figure these will be good, you know, enough that I'm not gonna bust a cup or something in the bottom of my sink. Gives it a little cushion. So I picked up two of those, and those are uh, 12 and a half by 11 inches. And let's see. I grabbed a whole bunch of these rulers. I haven't been able to find these. They usually don't come out until um, the school supplies come out. But I like these for the wood. I've done a lot of things with these in the past. And uh, this stuff here, it just pops right off. And the only reason I know that is because I used to have one that I was using all the time, and it just popped right off. So I thought, whew, well that's a good idea for just some wood. I like to grab a hold of anything that I find that's wood that I could do something with. So we have those. And I picked up a few signs, because I like to redo these too. And I like this, it's got the nice metal star on it, which I may use on something else besides this sign. But I like that, it was like a little mason jar. And then this one. This says current coastal clamshells, calm sandcastles, catch, and it has the shell down there. And I also like this for this size of plaque to make stuff with. This one I thought was really pretty though. I may just keep this one for the summer. It just says summer sunny sand shore seaside. And it's just really pretty. Syringe swim. So, but I like the size of these. These may, are great to do different um, projects with. And these are, these are about a ten and a half inch square. So you can do a lot with those. So I do tend to collect a lot of the signs that I see that are a nice size. <coughs> oh, and I found a new frog. This one I didn't pick up last year and it was gone. I have um, the other two that are sitting and stuff, and one's kind of like sitting up with its legs crossed, but I didn't have this cute little guy who lays down. So we're going to, I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I may keep him in here. I don't know. Or I may put him out with my flowers. That's where my other guys are. They're outside, and they hold up well in the weather, too, because, you know, they're, um, the poor, well, I don't know what they are. They're like, almost like a flower pot. I guess they're like almost a porcelain or a clay pot type thing, but it has a nice glaze on it, so they hold up really well outside. And then I picked up these succulents. I thought these would be um, fun to do something with. I picked up four of these. Um, they're all different, but it has this nice, nice flat back so you could like attach it to something, and I figured we could make something pretty with these. 
And then there was this one, and I have one more here. Whoops! I have one more that I just threw on the floor. Here we go. There it is. But yeah, they're pretty cool. So we're going to figure out something to do with those. And then I picked up this pineapple tray just because I thought it was gorgeous. Um, it's just a plastic tray, but it has that opalescence kind of look to it, and I love that stuff. So I'm going to figure out something I might want to do with this. I'm not sure yet, but I thought it was awful pretty. And then the last things I got... Here, oh, no, they're not the last things. Well, before I get into the sticker things that I got, I picked up three more of these yard stakes. I've been using these on Wii's, and they're really cute on Wii's. You can just bend these back and forth, like, I think two or three times, and they they just break right off. And then you can attach it to a wreath or something. But I love this little guy, so I got another one of him because I used up one already that I had. And then, of course, I picked up two of the Goofy Frogs. So I think this is going to be fun. I can't wait to make... Um, I've been doing the clothespin wreaths, and these look adorable on there. So I want to do one with the frog, too. All right, and then stickers, which... Oops, I'm sorry I'm moving, you guys. Um, I really don't need stickers, but you know what? These were just so pretty. I picked up these, and they're just called puffy stickers. You get nine of them in here, but it has, like, that metal look to them. And I just thought those were really nice. I grabbed two of them, of those, then, and I got this one. I don't know why I didn't get two of these, because I really like this home saying and stuff on here. I think you could, you know, embellish a lot of different things with these. And then this one I thought was really pretty. Looks like little glass bottles with the flowers in them. And they, they're just really nice. I love the way they look. And then I did, oh, here's one more of them like that. And these look like little balloon animals. And I thought these guys were super cute, too. So they'll be nice to put on some cards or send in some friend mail or something. And then these are called flexible uh, stencils. And these are just pretty butterflies. So I grabbed another one of those. I have a bunch of those stencils. One of these days I'm going to get on to doing it. Now this one, I just picked up two of the same. Um, and these are just the wooden stickers, and I thought this was nice with the little palm tree and the flip-flops and the pineapples. So you could paint them or stain them or do whatever you want. It has a little, you know, dot of sticky on there if you want to stick it onto something. But I usually end up taking those off and gluing these onto things. But I thought those were really nice. So I got two of them, and I think that is all now that I did pick up this week at the Dollar Tree. But it's nice to get out. Everybody was there that was, you know, very respectful, staying safe. Everyone had on a mask. And I actually did not come in within 20 feet of another person while I was there. And, you know, no lines at the checkout right now. So it was a, another good shopping trip. So hopefully we can keep this up with everybody being safe and getting out. So I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.